Que pasa to the pack? It is pack here. <laughs> In today's video, I'm covering the eighth roster update of NBA 2K24. It feels like this year has been going by way too fast. The fact that we're already on the eighth, there's probably only two or three more for the rest of the year. It's getting pretty crazy. I'm going to cover the biggest changes in this roster update for the game. There's a lot of up and downs. This is definitely one that has a lot of plus two, threes, and fours. So you're going to want to check this one out. If you like that kind of content, please join the pack and subscribe. Let's get it, man. First up, we have the Philadelphia 76ers as I always do. Tobias Harris, minus one, down to an 82 overall. Kyle Lowry, another plus one. It seems like he has found a good spot with Philly, 78 overall. Same with Campaign, plus one, another good upgrade for him. Honestly, a pickup that nobody thought was gonna matter too much is looking pretty good for them. And Mo Bamba's been playing well. This is the first plus one he's gotten in a long time. Good for him. For the Milwaukee Bucks, Chris Middleton plus one. It's been a while since he's been back up into the 86. He's playing better for the first time in about a year and a half. Brooke Lopez minus one. Still, their five best players are all in the 80 overall club. They're not complaining. For the Chicago Bulls, DeMar DeRozan plus one. Nikola Vucevic plus one. And Ayo Desanmu plus one. All positives for Chicago who are trying to make a big playoff push this year. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, we have Jared Allen minus one and Darius Garland plus one. Really solidifying Evan Mobley as that number two for the team so far. Let's see if this continues into the playoffs. Cleveland's looking good. One of the better teams in the East. Hopefully they have a better year in the playoffs than last year. This cheat code of a team is still getting upgrades, bro. Jalen Brown plus one. Back into the 90 overall club. Drew Holiday, plus one. Still up there in the 86 overalls. It's crazy. Derek White, plus one. Everyone on this starting lineup is at least an 86 overall. Is the probably the highest rated starting lineup ever in 2K history. Al Horford, plus one. Peyton Pritchard, plus two. I mean, can this team just slow down? Like, it's not fair for anybody anymore. For the Los Angeles Clippers, we have Kawhi Leonard, minus two. Paul George, plus one, back in the 90 overall club. We have James Harden, minus one, and Zubac, minus one. Besides Paul George, all downgrades for the Clippers. Still, this is one of their better looking years ever, right? They could make a good run this year. The Grizzlies, who, look, this year was never going to be a good year for the Grizzlies ever since John Moran's situation had been happening. But you know you're having a promising rebuild type or retool type of year when a no face game player is an almost 80 overall club member. GG Jackson plus 179 overall, only 19 years old, is wild. Scotty Pippen Jr., I wonder who his dad is, plus two to a 74 overall. Look, the Grizzlies are going to be okay whenever John Morant finally gets it together and comes back and healthy. For the Atlanta Hawks, we have DeJounte Murray plus one. That's it for their team. No major changes. In fact, I'm going to make it a word show basically at the end of every single roster season where I'm going to talk about the most improved player, most downgraded player. This is going to be the quietest team of the year. I have talked about the Atlanta Hawks for a maximum of two minutes of content for the whole year. There's no way I talk about them that much. For the Miami Heat, Duncan Robinson goes plus one to a 79 overall. Again, this has to be comeback player of the year if I have a ratings award show. He has to be comeback player of the year. For the Charlotte Hornets, we have Brandon Miller minus one, Miles Bridges minus one, and Trey Mann minus one. We knew the Hornets were going to have a bad year. We knew downgrades were going to happen but having just three downgrades and that's it for your roster update is tough utah jazz larry marketing minus one colin sexton plus one if you would have told me at the beginning of the season that colin sexton would almost be tied as the best player on the utah jazz with larry marketing i would have laughed in your face but here we are tht also goes plus one the utah jazz are looking good for the future right now they're just okay the kings the kings have been on fire and even though they've been on fire and even though demonte sabonis goes a plus one 91 overall highest rating he's ever gotten everybody else gets nuked keegan murray minus one malik monk minus one kevin herter minus one biggest downgraded player of the year by the way just what a fall off for him but keon ellis plus four so there you go besides that hella downgrades but keon ellis ties the highest upgraded player of this roster update. the knicks who have had upgrade after upgrade all season to get mitchell robinson back 
Isaiah Hardenstein goes plus one to an 81 overall. Josh Hart plus two, 81 overall. And Bogdanovich minus three. Okay, let's just call it how it is. When you're a player that's on a bad team like the Pistons, of course you're going to look better than when you're going to be on a good team like the Knicks. It is what it is. He can still score, but just not like he was on the Pistons. The Lakers. Whoa, this, this is, I'm going to be honest, boys. This is significant. AD plus one, 95 overall. He is almost as high rated as LeBron James. This is, from my understanding, the closest anyone has ever been to LeBron James on his team rating wise ever ever AD has been playing MVP level this past month the Lakers have been looking good mostly because of AD it's crazy right now but I do think Lakers probably should have got a couple more upgrades besides AD a lot of changes for the magic Jalen Suggs plus two him officially Wendell Carter Jr plus one Markel Fultz goes minus two and the most out of nowhere upgraded Jonathan Isaac plus three bro we haven't said this man's name in four years Almost an 80 overall club member. Now that's comeback of all time. That's better than Duncan Robinson because we at least knew who Duncan Robinson was. Isaac was gone. The Mavs who have looked awesome. Kyrie plus one and Daniel Gafford plus two. 81 overall club member for Daniel Gafford. The Mavericks look awesome so far. I mean, what a turnaround of a season they've had. If you would have told me the three other best players outside of Luka Doncic to Kyrie on the Mavs this season were going to be Daniel Gafford, Derek Lively the second, and Dante Exum, I would have lost everything. I would have never guessed. I would have never guessed that was going to happen. The Nets, Bridges minus one, Cam Thomas plus two, Cameron Johnson plus one. Again, this is significant because Cam Thomas is now in the conversation as best player on the Nets, which if he keeps scoring like he always does, that's going to happen real soon. The reigning champions, a scary team right now. Michael Porter Jr. plus one, Aaron Gordon plus one, KCP plus one. They're looking finals ready right now. They are healthy. They're playing well. Scary team right now. I'm assuming no one wants to face the Nuggets because the most unstoppable player, Nicole Jokic, 98 overall right now. Indiana Pacers, TJ McConnell, plus two into the 80 overall club. From my understanding, the first time in his entire career. Never have I heard of him being in the 80 overall club ever. The Pelicans, Zion Williamson, plus one. Najee Marshall, who goes plus two. So, Zion almost going back to the 90 overall club from the start of the season where we thought basically his career was looking like it could have been over. He was so overweight, we were afraid of injuries. And now the Pelicans look like one of the better teams in the West and Zion's been leading them. This was definitely a shut up the critics season for Zion and I respect that a lot. Detroit, the most uninteresting conversation I'm about to have with you. Simone Fontecchio, plus one, James Wiseman plus one no one cares the Pistons I hope they're good next season or at least decent bro because I'm tired of talking about the every time I've talked about the Pistons in my roster big career they have been bad I'm tired of it at this point Toronto Raptors Gary Trent Jr. plus two to a 79 over all I haven't talked about Gary Trent Jr. all year compared to last year when I was always talking about him it's good to see him back up there. The biggest news of this roster update, Jalen Green plus four. You know, it's funny. The other roster update, I was like, man, 81 overall for Jalen Green. Like, he was the best player on this team for a year. Like, Shangun and Van Vliet completely overtook him. And then maybe he heard it. Maybe he just realized it and playing so well right now. The Rockets are on fire right now. 85 overall for Jalen Green, back where he belongs as a player. Amen Thompson plus 281 overall, overtaking his brother, which I think is really funny because his brother was like way more talked about and hyped up at the beginning of the year. Dylan Brooks back in the 80 overall club plus one and Jacques Landell, former Spur, plus four, 77 overall. Trey Jones plus one. That's really it for the Spurs. Bad team, but the match have been playing better lately. I don't know what argument you could say Vic isn't a 90 overall outside of them losing. And before you be like, oh, this guy's glazing. I'm from San Antonio. I'm allowed to. I said what I said. Grayson Allen plus one. Again, I think the problem with the Phoenix Suns still stands that like you have great players. Outside of your starters though, it's looking a little grim and you're going to need a good bench for the finals if you're going to make it there. And you're going to need a good bench for the playoffs if you're going to make it deep into the playoffs. And they don't really have that. Okay, see who have been amazing all year. Josh Giddy plus one. Lou Dort plus two. Five 80 overall players on this roster. You know that they're happy. What is there to complain about? For the Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards plus one, 91 overall. High he has ever been Nas Reed plus two Nas Reed making it as a third best player on this team because Cat is injured 
is massive for the team. For the Blazers, dominating plus 285 overall, the best player on the Portland Trail Blazers right now. This is the DeAndre Ayton that we expected in the draft. This is the DeAndre Ayton we thought was going to be him in Phoenix. Never happened. Now in Portland, kind of as the main guy right now. Who knows if he can keep this up for the future? I hope he does. Anthony Simons, minus one, and Jeremy Grant, minus one. All solidified. DeAndre Aiden as that number one. And hopefully Scoot Henderson can figure it out soon so that them two can be good together. The Warriors, who are struggle city. Clay Thompson gets his first upgrade plus one probably in a year. Like, bro, I'm glad he didn't leave the 80 overall club because that would make me feel real old. And Jackson Davis goes plus one as well besides that the warriors don't have much changes finally the worst team in the nba the wizards we have denny minus one we have holmes plus two back here and we have julian champagne former spur plus three so some upgrades nothing really interesting for the washington wizards okay that is it for this ratings update the biggest one is jalen green good for him i am hoping there's some bigger ones by the end of the year now that we're racing to the playoffs it's getting exciting let's see how it all goes thank you guys for watching this video if you like this content please give it a sub i'll see you guys next time